Won't you be my distraction? My name is Martin Richards, I'm 32, and I'm driving in Drift All Stars European Championship for Team Erica. So um, usually for the last five years I've you know been a so solo competitor you know looking after my myself my car everything like that um, so yeah joining a team this year was was a great help really um, three of us all mucking in helping each other in the pits um, <clears throat> we kind of push each other while driving as well we go out together in practice and it gets each other hyped up and everything like that so you know it pushes you as a driver more you want to be the best in your team. You wanna you wanna be better than your your, your teammates. Um, it's just a shame sometimes when you when you get drawn against your teammate like um, myself and Nigel Colfer did. Um, we ended up <laughs> somebody somebody's got to go out, and, and it's not good losing against your teammate. This year I've used um, my R33 Skyline. Um, this year we decided to put in a different power plant, a 1JZ motor with a Garrett 3076 turbo. Uh, it's pushing just shy of 550 brake horsepower. Um, I've never driven with that much that much power um, in a lightweight car because obviously we, we got as much weight out of the car as we could. You know the Garrett turbo works really well, um, spools real quickly. So yeah, this year um, Eric described me the, the Eric D7 body kit, um, which is a really cool look. Um, I really liked it. Um, I'm not a big fan of spoilers, I hate them, so we didn't have any of the, the spoilers on there. Um, and it, it worked really well with the, the, the vinyl design on the car, and it was as low as possible. <laughs> PDW um, hooked me up with awesome set of wheels, um, 11J rears, 9.5 fronts, real good offsets. Um, fitted the body kit perfectly, and gave me the stance and drift look that we, that we want. Altenzo, I've been involved with Altenzo now for two years. Um, their tyres are awesome, really. Um, you know, it's it's so good to have such a consistent tyre that works. You know, that each set of tyres is exactly the same to the last set that I put on, and it really enables me to tune the suspension, handling of the car to suit my style of driving. And it's just a tyre I can really rely on and, and push really hard. So it's great to be involved with them, and I'm looking forward to being involved with them next season. I have different views on my car style and I know Eric Kit wanted this this crazy um, vinyl uh, design on the car. Um, none of the team were really sure about it until we actually saw it in the flesh. And I didn't actually get to see the car until it arrived in Poland. Um, so it was it was a pleasant surprise and the car looked cool and it's lasted throughout the season and it was great. The, the quality of the fiberglass and, and the stuff they make here at Aerokit is uh, second to none really. Obviously I'm one for destroying body kits, my car's really low, 90% um, of the time the side skirts were dragging on the floor. We're doing street parades across Europe and it has to be said the roads are nothing like England, uh, cobbled streets, um, big potholes and throughout the street parades yeah, I managed to uh, knock the bumper off. Um, Body kits coming off here, there, and everywhere. But um, throughout the season, I haven't used any body kit. Eric kit didn't have to replace the bumpers for me at all. They've just withstood the abuse I've given them. The crashes. <laughs> yeah, I, I came into this season at the beginning. I wanted to prove myself. I wanted to push as hard as possible. Um, we're fighting against the best in Europe now, and the level of driving is just going up and up and up in each each year. And I came into the first round, um, I, had to, I had to show what I've got, I had to prove that I, I can fight for this championship. Um, it was a new car, completely untested. As I say, the car was finished two days, two days before it, it was shipped out to Poland. Um, so I was still getting, getting used to it and unfortunately uh, had some crashes from pushing too hard. Well, let's just say it was my 
first practice run of the first practice session. Um, obviously, I'd had the crash in Poland, and we'd, we'd kind of uh, spent most of the morning repairing that and setting up my, um, setting up the tracking on the back of the car and, and everything like that. Um, so I went out on the first practice lap and ended up completely stoving the car into the wall. Um, obviously, the, my emotions were captured on camera then, and I was thinking, this is the end of my season. Uh, as soon as I got out of the car and I saw the amount of damage on the car, I was ruined. The excellent chassis that Thomas at Zorowski Motorsport built, um, all our hard work over the last five weeks, pretty much just ready to be thrown away. Um, yeah, I, I could have cried then. I honestly thought my championship was over for the year. Um, but thanks to everybody in the team, Eric, Kitt, um, the Shanahan's especially, um, helped me get through some of the guys. This is this is what I love about drifting. Everybody's there to help. You know, um, there's such a great bunch of guys. Uh, there was people from oh, I think they were Finnish or Sweden uh, gave me some. Uh, you know the suspension arms I needed and um, we worked throughout the whole of the practice session to, to get the car working again and I was back out for qualification which was amazing. Basically what we wanted to do was the R33 is a big car, it's heavy um, and you know we're fighting for every little games we can get in this sport at the moment so we stripped the whole car down to a bare chassis. Thomas. Um, welded in a full lightweight T45 roll cage. Um, we cut every single useless panel in the car. Um, they're obviously replaced with all the fiberglass aero kit body panels. Moving the radio into the back also enables us to move the intercooler and, and some of the major components of the engine um, more into a protected area of the car. So if we do, obviously, like a, like a crash, um, <laughs> or if we have contact while drifting while you're, while you're close to somebody, um, you minimise damaging the key parts of the car that are going to actually stop you um, getting back into the race and, and fighting. It, it's, it's all about really getting the results. Um, you know, I want to do as, as best I can and uh, finally bringing home some silverware after my hard efforts is, is, is great. Um, I've pushed really hard in Hungary. I love the track. Uh, it's my second year being there and it was just really great to get a result for the team and, and everybody else involved to, to show that I am as good as I am. There's lots of memorable times because obviously we're out there with a bunch of great people and we're, you know, when we're not competing and, and doing all the, all the serious uh, drifting stuff, there's a lot of uh, partying and, and nights out um, which we really enjoy. I'm Richard. I'm Richard. Most memorable time is probably Latvia because we spent uh, a week out there uh, between travelling to Lithuania for the next event next weekend and that was a lot of partying <laughs> and uh, I managed to lose my phone, I believe that was all caught on, on another video of our antics with Harman the Harmonator and uh, Vince Nice. Uh, biggest high of the year has to be Hungary. Um, it's a great event, great weekend. Um, I qualified really well and pushed through some hard battles. There was crash after crash, the track conditions were changing, there was oil on the track. And uh, after all of that, I managed to find my way to third place, so that's definitely my high of the year. Lowest point of the year probably has to be Sweden with a the, with the big crash. Although it didn't end up in a as much as a low, we repaired the car, but for me, the time of the crash and seeing the state of the car and everything like that was definitely the lowest point of the season for me. So yeah, um, I just want to say a huge thank you to everybody who's been involved with me this year and, and making this season so special. Eric Hitt for looking after me and um, being a great team to be involved with. Um, Zorowski Motorsport for building me the best chassis drift car I've ever driven in my life. Uh, Altenzo Tyres for their continued support and you know just hooking me up with an awesome awesome tyre. Um, Garrett Turbos, Xedi Clutches, uh, Chris at Tyre Traders, thank you very much for all your help and support this year. I, I really couldn't have done it without you guys and uh, I'm really looking forward to the 2014 season and uh, I hope it will be another great year. Thank you.